All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to show you this little mechanism, which once it's put inside a five and a quarter bay on a computer, will allow you to treat your three and a half inch SATA drives like removable drives. Now you can't do hot swapping with this, but you just power down, put a drive in and then switch it up and then the drive's there, power it down, take the drive out or swap the drive or whatever. Now quickly, the reason why I want one of these, what it is, I've got about 20 or so terabytes worth of uh, three and a half inch SATA hard drive space, this being one of about four or five drives that are used. Now these drives for me are used for mid to long term storage. So I don't need access to this stuff all the time. And plus what it is, my two main machines are very quiet because all the drives in them are SSD type, so they don't make any noise. But as soon as I put one of these in, one, it starts generating noise, and two, also, which is quite important, is that because it, they are like got, you know, st because they're spinning, they've got motors in, there's wear and tear on them when they're switched on, when they're not being used. So basically, what I try to do is keep these out of the computer, one, for noise, and two, to kind of like, you know, extend their life as well as it were, so they're not being used unnecessarily. Now, the only way that I've managed to do this to date is to either have them permanently inside a computer, and then what I'll do, I'll kind of like take the side door off the computer, and then I will disconnect the power and then reconnect it when I need the drive, or I'll use like an external USB 3 box, which you just kind of pop the drive in and get access to it via USB 3. But those particular boxes I find a little bit cumbersome and they're not necessarily the fastest even though they are USB 3. So you've got to remember the fastest way you're going to get data to and from a drive like this is for it to be permanently connected to the computer or to have it SATA directly connected to the motherboard. So let me just get the drive out of the way after explaining my reasoning for this. So effectively, like I say, I treat them drives as mid to long term storage so they don't need to have payment like access or they don't have to be permanently accessible and they don't need to be permanently on all the time and i would imagine that there's going to be a lot of people in my position like that you know people who are doing video editing or working in media who just have tons and tons of data and they just don't need to have access to it all the time or you could just use it for anything basically any any type of data backup and storage so let me just get everything out of the box and let's just see where we get up to with this okay so what it is we've got couple of bits of paper here that's just one of them kind of like are you happy with the product thing there's a bit of a manual we won't need that because i will be showing what's going on and then what we've got here is four screws let's see so we've got four screws there and they're going to allow us to connect that internally into a computer so let me just put that to one side and then we've got a set of keys here as well which will allow us to let's see allow us to lock the door on the front so there we go so it's basically a locking me mechanism for the door that's not going to bother me so much because you know i will i will be getting access to mine kind of like you know in and out just dead quick and i don't really need to lock them up as such but you can if you want to and then what we've got here is what looks like about 18 inches worth of sata data cable and then also we have a Molex power cable here. And what happens with these two things, if you have a look here, just there, they terminate themselves there, which is where the drive connects to when you push the drive in, which I will show you in a second. So what this does, it's basically a passive unit, which is which just allows us to go passively straight through to the motherboard from a drive. So there's no hot swapping with this, unless the motherboard itself has that facility on it. Then on the front, we've simply got a catch here. Open the catch up. And then let's get the drive. We'll orientate the sockets the right way to get to the back there. So I'm just pop that in there. And then what you do, you just shut the front door over. There we go. It's all locked into place. And then to get it out again, just that little catch there. Just open the catch up. There you go. And then you just wish your drive out. Put your drive away or put another drive in and just try this again i have to say as well this mechanism feels really really good that's um yeah 
got no problems with that at all that feels really good and the connection as you can see there is solid so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to screw all this into the computer and then we'll have a look at it once it's in the computer okay so as you can see now i've put it inside the computer very painless it's just as easy as inserting something like a cd or dvd drive or something like that so no problems at all with that and then let's just open it up there we go let's get the drive pop the drive in there and then close it there you go i don't think it could be any simpler than that let's just try that again so empty and then put the drive in full <laughs> there we go okay so i really honestly don't think there's anything else for me to explain beyond this point that is just so simple and easy to use and it's going to be a massive massive help for me personally for what i do and i also think that that'll be a huge help as well for other people who do similar things to me and you need to have like you know access to mid to long term storage on hard drives but without leaving them permanently on or permanently connected to a system anyways yeah like i said earlier on there'll be links in the description for this thing if you need one of these for your computer and if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon for future videos anyway i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now